Good morning. Good morning. We are here at um, in the main lobby of the Qatar National Convention Center, where is uh, taking place uh, COP18. Uh, the structure behind you is quite interesting. It's it a, is very interesting. It indeed. is a creature designed by world acclaimed uh, U.S. artist Louis Bourgeois, and perhaps this uh, animal, the spider, symbolizes. Uh, the web, the synergies and the interaction that a place like a convention center is, is meant to be uh, created. I'm here today uh, with um, Eman um, Ch Chasli. Uh, you are a member of the Saudi delegation. Um, we are going to be uh, speaking about um, the uh, aviation carbon tax uh, with you. Now, uh, we know that this region is actually home to some of the most aggressive and largest airlines uh, worldwide. The tourism industry is one of the fastest growing uh, sector uh, at this point of time with pretty much no sign of recession. So obviously the airline industry plays its share uh, in, uh, in the global warming uh, effect. Um, what can you tell us about the investment on the creation of an international aviation carbon tax and where does the Kingdom of the Saudi Arabia stand in this regard? Well, we think that the sectoral approach is a very important sector for mitigating climate change. Now, the, the recent news of the uh, European Union ETS system for taxing aviation was a unilateral measure that uh, should have been done under the multilateral governmental process. We are against the, 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 the carbon tax as it was mandated by the European Union. The, the discussion should take place at the uh, International Civil Aviation Organization and there should be a common decision there. And that decision should be on the basis of the common but differentiated responsibilities. And that is the essence of the climate change discussions. What we are doing here under the negotiations, we're looking at how we can mitigate climate change but by considering the principles of the convention and that is the, the primary principle is the common but differentiated responsibilities that not all countries are equal when it comes to mitigating climate change. There are Annex 1 countries or the developed countries who should take the lead in mitigating climate change and then there are the non-Annex countries which are the developing countries who are contributing their share but not under mandatory uh, 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 obligations. So we have to really take that into account when we address it under sectoral approach, be it aviation, be it uh, uh, maritime, uh, 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 transportation. So, in, 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 in essence, we are pro the mitigation activities, but the mitigation activities has to take into account the, the principle of the common but differentiated responsibilities, because as you said, there is historic responsibility for the developed countries that they need to uh, uh, take the leadership in mitigating uh, uh, emissions, and then complemented by actions by, of the developing countries because there are considerations for developing countries in addition to mitigating action, that is the sustainable development. Now, there is also adaptation, which is a, a, a primary objective for developing countries because countries uh, in the developing world need to adapt to climate change. Not only adapting to climate change, but it also needs to adapt to the impact of response measures. When developed countries take actions to mitigate climate change, those actions have negative impact on the developing countries, countries like Saudi Arabia, when we will be suffering the impact of the actions that will be taken by the developed countries to mitigate climate change. So with all that into account, we think uh, uh, the aviation tax now is not uh, an acceptable measure. We think there has to be a, a revisit for that decision and the discussion should be done under a multilateral system so that we can avoid unilateral actions just like the one that was done by the European Union. And therefore, we are very happy to hear the news that the United States just issued a, uh, a decision signed by the President that they are not going to participate in the European Union uh, ETS for aviation. Thank you. Thank you very much for sharing your views.